Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Stories from Sodor, Episode 25, Coming to Terms. Edward recently had an accident a few months ago, but now he's back, but he only wants to pull coaches. One morning, Edward pulled into Nafford Station where James was. Hey James, good morning Edward, um, can you help me out with... Well, see, I'm, uh, Sir Tom, that wanted me to pull this train at last minute, but I need someone to take my good train behind you. Huh? Ugh, trucks. Ugh, oh no. And what do you need? Can you pull them for me? Uh, James, I can't do that. But why not? I'll find someone else to pull it. I'll be right back. And Edward raced away, rather concerned. What was that all about? James thought. Don't know, Henry said. Edward's been acting weird lately. He hasn't pulled a single truck since he got back from his accident. Hmm, that is weird, James said. Edward found Andrew. Andrew! <sighs> what, Edward? Um, you know how you were meant to help me be a back engine when you came here? Yes, and I don't, I don't believe I've helped you ever do that. Well, it, yes, but I think I have a better job for you. What? You have to take all my good strength for now. For now? Yes. For what? Well, Andrew, can you do it, please? All right, where is it? Nafford, let's go. And the two set off. Edward rolled into Nafford Station. Hey, James, I found my replacement for the day. Huh? Who is it? Andrew, of course. Hey, James. Oh, uh, Andrew, he's pretty strong. I think he can handle this. Yeah, he probably could. Right, Andrew? <sighs> yeah, Edward. Now, James, where is this train meant to go? Oh, well, you see, it is meant for the bridge. You know, the one that has to be repaired. Three trucks to ballast for a bridge? Oh, well, the last one's for waste that you have to take to the scrapyards. <sighs> okay. See you guys later. Bye, James. Edward. Bye, Andrew. Bye, Andrew. Why doesn't he like me? I don't really know, James said. He's never said it out loud. Well, yeah, I better go. I have a passenger train to take. For the next few days, Andrew pulled. Pulled. And pulled. The train is running so heavy, even Andrew can barely handle them. He knew he had to talk to Edward about this. He devised a plan with the other engines. Alright, do we all get the plan? Um, can you fill us in again? Sure thing, Donald. Well, basically, Henry's following Edward home, so when Edward goes onto the turntable, he'll be trapped. Well, there's that middle line. Well, James, you have to get there, and if he tries to make a dash for it, you have to block him. And since Stepney's already working on the bridge, Thomas, I'd like you to go in front of Stepney in case uh, he tries to pull anything. And Donald and Douglas, you know Edward will listen to you. So, you know. Stay right there, and I'll stay right here, too, to talk. Got it? Got it! Let's go! I can hear him coming. James, Thomas, positions, now! Ha! Ah, time to take a nice rest, Edward said, without knowing Henry was following him. Edward rolled into the sheds, and he was very confused. Thomas? Everyone? What, what's going on here? We need to talk, Andrew said. About? Edward, you've been making the young tank and can pull all your good strands. That's too much for a little lad. It needs a break. <laughs> well, I think Andrew can do it. No, I can't. It's just being more and more challenging. Edward, why aren't you pulling good? James said. Yeah, I'd like to know that myself, Edward, Thomas said. Well, I'm not gonna answer. Ah, Henry! Yeah, I kind of followed you home. Don't think that's creepy. <laughs> I won't, but I'm not answering. Edward, what's wrong? Douglas, you want to know what's wrong? Yes, we all do, Thomas said. You want to know how long I was in that works after that accident? How long? A good th over three months. I was almost unsalvageable. The workmen had to find all these parts. Look, it, it was an uncomfortable experience, and I never want to pull trucks this early after an accident like that. I just, I'm not ready for it. Wait, Edward, I know where I can take you. To the steamworks. Yeah, like I want to go there again, either. Well, look, Victor can help you. Let's just go, come on. And the two set off. They rolled into the steamworks. Victor, Victor, hi, Thomas, what is it, my friend? It's nighttime, and you're either pulling their trains or sleeping.
Well, Victor, Edward's having one of those, um, problems that you helped me fix. Oh, he is? Well, what can I do for you, Edward, my friend? Well, Victor, I... it was about that accident, Thomas said. Oh, yes. I remember. You were, in, you were in such a state when you came in, but we managed to fix you up. Yeah, but I don't want to go through that again. So he's been making Andrew pull up his good trains. Hey, Edward, you should never make another Andrew pull your trains unless you're sick, ill, or unable to. Well, I, I can't do it, though. I lost control of those trucks, Victor. What if you pull a train of trucks, Edward? Tomorrow morning. Pull a train of troublesome trucks. If you can pull that without crashing, you know you can pull them. You can have any break when you want, Toad. Well, I gotta talk to Oliver about that, Tom said, but I can make that happen, probably. I think I'll do it, but I'd like to know the cause of that accident. Meanwhile, Thomas was thinking, Sh Should I tell him about Diesel? I, I think I will. Edward, I... I Diesel did it. Well, what, Thomas? Nothing. I'll tell you later. Well, it's settled. Tomorrow morning, I'll pull a train of trucks. I better talk to Oliver about the toad thing, Thomas said, and he quickly puffed away. You want me to give up toad? Just for one train, Oliver? You're not even pulling any trains in the morning. You know, that... That is right. But will he be careful with toad? Yes, yes. Toad's the best brake man in the world, Oliver. He can handle it, so. I think I can, Mr. Oliver. If it means helping Mr. Edward out, then I'm okay with it, Mr. Thomas. That's the spirit, Toad. What do you say, Oliver? Okay, just make sure he's not hurt. Toad's one of the prides of my life. Well, okay then. It's settled. Toad be coupled to Edward's train, Edward will pull him, and it will go fine. Yes, indeed, Mr. Thomas. It will go just fine. The day came, and everyone was waiting. Toad, be careful. I will, Mr. Oliver. All right, Edward. You gotta pull this train. If you pull it well, you can pull the rest of your good trains. If you don't, I guess I will. Pull some of them. Edward, we're all rooting for you, Thomas said. You can do it, lad. Thanks, you two. Now I better be off. And Edward set off carefully. Wait, isn't that Scruffy on the train? Oh, no. Be careful, Edward, Oliver said. But Edward didn't hear them. Scruffy caused no trouble and Edward got along just fine. Go for it, you two, James said. We will, Mr. James. Edward slowed when he got to the top of a hill, but he suddenly felt himself going faster. On, on! Get him in the works permanently, Scruffy out. Ah! Toad, can't you stop the trucks? I'm trying, Mr. Edward, I'm trying! Edward braked as hard as he could. He just stopped with his two front wheels off the rails. Back up, back up. And Edward quickly reversed down. I did it, Toad! Nice job, Mr. Edward. Nice job. Wait till I tell the others. They'll be so impressed. And Edward knew that fear was irrational. And the only thing they honestly had to fear was fear itself. Wait till I go tell the others. Let's go, Toad. You got it, Mr. Edward. And he puffed away happily.